Shamel Lane and I'm back with a third video in this series for Studio Calico's June kits. Today I am using the main kit plus add-on number two which is Twisty Slide. So add-on two has this great red and turquoise theme to it. It has um, all these papers, one giant uh, sheet of ledger alphabet stickers and plenty of embellishments. We've got glassine envelopes, uh, washi tape, tin pins, lots of die cuts, a great stamp set, really cute printed tags, and some buttons. So I'm going to put these two kits together to create a layout with the main and add on two, and it's going to have that red and turquoise theme. Now I've made a decision from the beginning that I'm going to do something that always pains me a little bit. I'm going to cut all of these papers. None of them are going to be whole sheets. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to choose one for the background. That'll be a whole sheet and everything else is going to get cut up. So I'm going to do um, the wood grain as the background and everything else on top of that. I want to add a little bit of white Mr. Huey to this before I start. So I'm just going to start with that so it can dry. And yes, I, uh, I shake them even though I'm not supposed to. I know it's better to to roll but I don't use the sprayer. I always do it this way so it doesn't give me any trouble because it doesn't um, it doesn't clog up the sprayer because I don't use the sprayer. So there you go. Breaking the rules a little bit. Okay so I'm just going to add some white to this in a rough line here and my um, my layers of pattern paper are going to go about here and this space is going to be journaling. So that's all I'm starting with is kind of that random idea that this is where things are, paper things are going to go. I've got one photo and the um, journaling is going to go down here. The title will either be at the top or in the middle. So I just wanted to create this kind of line that will give it a little bit of movement but also not have it all over the page because if I have that line then it creates a good space for this journaling. So you've got kind of an L shape inverted L. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to cut all this pattern paper into smaller pieces. My uh, white Mr. Huey is dry and I've cut all sorts of boxes from the pattern paper in the add-on and a little bit from the main kit as well. So I'm just going to start um, adhering these around right here and of course, of course I've covered up most of the the white Mr. Huey. That's just how it goes. And um, with all of these layers of paper, I'm putting the adhesive about an inch in from all the edges because I want to be able to pull them up and have a little bit of texture and also be able to layer things on top um, or underneath of, of those layers so that I could come in with something else and be able to add it in the size, but mostly because at the end I'll go and curl all these layers up. So there's plenty of, adhe of adhesive in the center to keep everything secure, but I do realize that it, it may look like things are a little bit um, wobbly because I'm not putting the adhesive right there on the edge. Lots of just paper layers at this point. Try not to overthink this too much. And this one was the, the side of one of these pieces, so I'm just going to cut it so I can stretch it um, over to this side as well. And it'll get covered up. And then one piece that's cut to be more of a photo mat shape. and my 4x6 photo on top of that. Now with all these different paper elements, I've just added brown ink to the edges of everything so that it will all look um, like it's all meant to match even though they're from different collections. And adding the aqua tag in here as well. That on a tiny bit of an angle. And then I'm going to use the washi tape to add another little punch of color and um, some texture here and there. Washi 
washi tape makes a really great way to mark where you want embellishment. So you can add it in a few places and then go back and put something over the top. So I tend to start with three spots of washi tape because then I can come back in and add more on top of that. So I may come back in with more tape, but for the moment I'm going to start with those three pieces. Okay, and then I want to start looking at where I could layer up some of these die cuts cut pack I picked out the things that had the most color in common with everything else I'd already used so I pulled out all the things that were red all the things that were turquoise and then also some of the dark wood grain and then I have three areas of embellishment so that I can start to layer um, different pieces on top of each other and add some of them with foam and um, with foam tape or pop dots so that there's a little bit of dimension in each of the areas of embellishment. And then my next step is um, to bring in the other elements. So I want to include the title with the larger embellishment here. And I want something with a bit more dimension over here. So I'm going to go to the, um, the tin pins and pick one of these to go over there, but I need to get everything in the right spot before I put on, put that on top. Um, but then I also want to work my title lettering in over here, keeping in mind that my journaling is going to be handwritten down here. Then the other thing I'm thinking is to reinforce this kind of line that I wanted on the vertical here, is to use the stamp set and come uh, from, the, from the top of the line and then scatter the different words throughout um, throughout that line so that there's some word uh, some words up here and then they reappear down here as if um, that whole piece underneath all those layers still had the words there to show so that's where I think I'm going with this and uh, we'll see if that works with the stamp set from this add-on I'm going to stamp in brown and just scatter the words starting at the top and then working on this kind of vague idea of a vertical line so just going to use each, well, four of the words I think I'm going to use, each of those just once, and I'm using the Jenny Bolin um, brown ink and brown sugar. I'll just tuck this so that it's connected then to that area of embellishment. Not too big a gap, but also not, um, not too close so that you can't read it. and then working my way down to the bottom of the page. For the title, I'm going to use a mix of the flat stickers from the add-on, the October Afternoon Letterpress Lower, and the blue stickers from the main kit. So I'm going to start with the word at the bottom, and that's going to be the one in and the flat stickers. With the letter stickers for the title and the date and then all the journaling written in, I'm almost done at this point, but I started to realize that the blue from these letter stickers is quite a bit darker than the other elements on the page. And I wanted to add something to bring that together so that that color feels like it fits a bit more. Because my original thought for the last little sprinkling of embellishment was to use the small red buttons from the add-on. But the more I look at this, the more I think I need to bring in a little bit more blue to make the blue in the lettering be purposeful. So I'm going to go back to the, um, the twinkle pieces in the main kit and add those rather than the, um, than the red buttons in this case. So I'm just going to do um, a few here and there. so that there's just a little bit in each embellishment area to bring that blue into the design a bit more. And this one I think can have 
three while the other two can just have one. Put them in a little triangle around the embellishment so that everything is um, is brought together. And I'm trying to overlap the edges wherever possible so that it brings the different pieces of the layout together. So that is this one with the main kit plus add-on to that's twisty slide all finished. So I'll see you again for a layout with the main kit and add-on three.